Welcome to Power News with your host, Shikama from the Shikama Live Show. Obama apologizes to the nation over Obamacare. Or did he really? Thank you for tuning in to the, the video. So, Obama this past week went through a series of apologies when it was found out that uh, over four, it's up to five million people have lost their health care plans and lost their insurance completely. It is said that possibly this was intentional uh, from the uh, beginning of the actual Obamacare legislation. There is no way to prove or disprove that. Uh, all that can be said is anybody looking at the legislation, as I've said before in uh, my Obamacare is the largest swindle ever you can look that video up I said I read through the legislation and I found that it was nothing more than a very big power grab it had nothing to do with health care well I still stand by that and I and I come to you today and say Obama knew exactly what he was doing I want to go over uh, the scandals that the White House is going through and I want to say that a lot of people are getting impatient about the uh, impeachment proceedings they're getting impatient about the uh, hearings and I'm here to tell you I want you to keep in mind that the uh, Capitol Hill runs on a completely different time schedule than we do it takes a very long time for legislation to go through it takes a long time for hearings to be concluded imagine a murder case that is going to go to trial in our regular lives takes years to conclude it takes a year to even get to trial and then they can ask for a continuance and the continuance can take another year so one person being tried for murder from the day that they are arrested to the day that they're convicted years and years can go by now with that in mind how much more capitol hill with 500 600 people and all of their staff would take to come to conclusions about certain things it would take years and years so don't get so impatient but i want you to stay focused let me go over the list of scandals that the obama administration has gone through so first irs targets obama's enemies the irs targeted conservative and pro-israel groups prior to the 2012 election. Questions are being raised about why this occurred, who ordered it, whether there was any White House involvement, and whether there was an initial effort to hide who knew the targeting and when. And this targeting is still going on. Benghazi, this is actually three scandals in one. The failure of, the failure of administration to protect the Benghazi mission, the changes made to the talking points in order to suggest the attack was motivated by an anti-Muslim video, the refusal of the White House to say what President Obama did the night of the attack. Number three, watching the AP. The Justice Department performed a massive call of Associated Press reporters' phone records as part of a leak investigation. Rosengate. The Justice Department suggested that Fox News reporter James Rosen is a criminal for reporting about classified information and subsequently monitored his phones and emails. Potential holder perjury. Attorney General Eric Holder told Congress he had never been associated with potential uh, prosecution of a journalist for perjury when in fact he signed the affidavit that termed Rosen a potential criminal. The ATF Fast and Furious scheme allowed weapons from the U.S. to walk across the border into the hands of Mexican drug dealers. The ATF lost track of hundreds of firearms, many of which were used in crimes, including the December 2010 killing of Border Patrol agent Brian Terry. Potential Holder Perjury 2. Holder told Congress on May 2011 that he had just recently heard about the Fast and Furious gun walking scheme when there is evidence he may have known much earlier. Sibelius demands payment. HHS Secretary Kathleen Sibelius solicited a donation from companies HHS might regulate. The money would be used to help her sign up uninsured Americans for Obamacare. Number nine, the Pigford scandal, an agricultural department effort that 
started as an attempt to compensate black farmers who had been discriminated against by the agency but involved evolved into a gravy train uh, delivered several billion dollars in cash to thousands of additional minority and female farmers who probably didn't face discrimination and and the end result of that the black farmers still had to sue to get the money they never got any money yet they were discriminated against and the government is supposedly uh the the single entity that does not discriminate against black people yeah right number 10 gsa gone wild the general service administration in 2010 held an 820 3,000, 100,000 training conference in Las Vegas uh, featuring a clown and a mind reader resulting in resignation of the GSA administrator. 11. Veterans Affairs in Disney World. The agency wasted more than six million dollars in two conferences in Orlando and assistant secretary was fired. Number 12. Sevilius violates the Hatch Act. A U.S. special counsel determined that Sebelius violated the Hatch Act when she made extemporaneous partisan remarks during a speech in her official capacity last year. During the remarks, Sebelius called for the election of the Democratic candidate for governor of North Carolina. Number 13. Solyndra. Republicans charged that the Obama administration funded and promoted it's poster boy for green energy despite warnings signs the company was headed for bankruptcy. The administration also alleged press Solyndra to delay layoff announcements until after the 2010 midterm election. AKA Lisa Jackson. Former EPA administration Lisa Jackson used the name Richard Windsor when corresponding by email with other government officials drawing charges she was trying to evade scrutiny number 15 the new black black panthers the justice department was accused of using a racial double standard and failing to pursue a voter ad, uh, intimidation case against black panthers who appeared to be menacing voters at a polling place in 2008 in philadelphia number 16 waging war all by myself obama has violated the constitution and both the letter and the spirit of the War Powers Resolution by attacking Libya without congressional approval, which is actually treasonous. Number 17, Biden bullies the press. Vice President Biden's office was repeatedly interfered with coverage, including forcing a reporter to wait in a closet, making a reporter delete photos, and editing pool reports. Number 18, AKPD not a okay the administration paid millions to the former firm of then white house advisor david axelrod akpd message and media to promote passage of obamacare some questioned whether the firm was hired to help pay axelrod axelrod two million dollars akpd owed him number 19 sestak will take care of you former white house chief of staff Rahm Emanuel used Bill Clinton as an intermediary to probe whether former Rep. Joe Sestak, Democrat of Pennsylvania, would accept a prominent unpaid White House advisor position in exchange for dropping out of the 2010 primary against former Senator Arlene Specter, Democrat of Pennsylvania. Number 20. I'll pass my own laws. Obama has repeatedly been accused of making end runs around Congress by deciding which laws to enforce, including the decision not to deport illegal immigrants who may have been allowed to stay in the United States had Congress passed the DREAM Act. Number 21, the hacking of Cheryl Atkinson's computer. It's not clear who hacked the CBS reporter computers as she investigated the Benghazi scandal, but the Obama administration and its allies had both the motive and the means to do it. Number 22, an American political prisoner. The sudden decision to arrest Nicola Basley. Nicola on unrelated charges after uh, protests in the Arab world over his anti-Muslim video is an extraordinarily suspicious coincidence. 
we're going to go out and we're going to prosecute the person that made that video. Hillary Clinton alleged, Clinton, alleged, I'm not trying to make fun of her name, allegedly told the father of one of the ex-seals killed in Benghazi. Number 23, get rid of inconvenient IGs. Corporation for National and Community Service, Inspector General Gen Gerald Walpin was fired in 2009 as he fought wasteful spending and investigated a friend of Obama's Sacramento mayor and former NBA player Kevin Johnson. The White House says Walpin was incompetent. That's kind of like the opposite of incompetent, isn't it? Number 24, influence peddling. An investigation is underway for Alejandro Mayorkas, director of the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, who has been nominated by Obama for the number two post of the Par Department of Homeland Security. Mallorca's may have used his position to unfairly obtain U.S. visas for foreign investors in company run by Hillary Clinton's brother, Anthony Rodman. These are just two dozen of the scandals that are, are surrounding the Obama administration. I know that people are impatient for his uh, impeachment, for trial, for treason, but I, I made a video talking about Republicans wanting to fight but not draw blood. Go see that video as well. Obama's apology is uh, about Obamacare really isn't an, Ob uh, an apology. He tried to backtrack. Now he said 30, 32 times, if you like your health care, you can keep it. If you like your doctor, you can keep him. Uh, it has come out that White House uh, analysts have were told Obama when they were voting on Obamacare that uh, people would be losing their health care. Point blank. So he cannot go back on his word. Now he's trying to go back on his word and say that, no, what he meant was, if you like your health care, health insurance, uh, after Obamacare is passed, you can keep it. Well, that is is almost a non sequitur because 80% of the individual health insurance market is going to dry up and be canceled. That's right, I said 80%. Because it does not meet the standards of Obamacare. And what are the standards of Obamacare? And that's, that's a wrong thing to say. Obamacare forces people, forces men to, men for themselves, their individual insurance plan, forces men uh, to pay for pap smears, breast exams, female contraception, the, and a lot of these things, men the, men cannot even avail themselves. Let's say that did condoms as a, contra, as a contraception and, and it covered condoms. Well, that would be something that you could avail yourself. But uh, vaginal inspections is not something a man could avail himself of. In a man's individual health care plan, if it does not have that, the plan does not meet the Obamacare standard. So your health care plan has, by law, has to be canceled. This is by law. And Obama was told of this before they even passed Obamacare. So this, uh, certain, a few of these things were actually known from the start. Before uh, we have to uh, pass it to see it, right? So uh, he cannot go back on his word. He's trying to rehash. And then uh, Pelosi comes on Fox News and says, no, 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 really, if you want to keep your health care plan, you can. She's still saying it. She is out of her mind. I have no, I don't know wh what state she's from and who keeps voting her in, but I'm assuming that her constituents Whoever's voting for her, they're all brain dead. They're just out to lunch. There's no possible way that they can continuously vote for this woman. She must be paying them each $30,000 a year for, the, for them to keep voting for her. She must be just handing out uh, candy or something. Something has to be going on. There's no way somebody could keep voting for that woman. Just like Harry Reid. I don't get Harry Reid. I live in Vegas. But Harry Reid does illegal things like, let me let me tell you, Harry Reid paid for and got and negotiated with all of the casinos to let their Mexican staff off for the day of the uh, vote to uh, and paid for buses 
to take them from the casino to the voting booth and their union bosses told them they had to vote for Harry Reid. Harry Reid was going to lose. You would not have seen Harry Reid in the last election. How about that one? He arranged with the casino owners to let their staff off and had the unions tell all of the Mexican staff to get on the bus and go vote for Harry Reid. And that's how he won. He was down uh, double digits in the poll. I don't know how he pulled it off. Well, that's that's how he pulled it off. So these people, you, you know, uh, these people get up there and you wonder how can anybody vote for him? They do things like that. And I will go to court if Harry Reid tries to sue me. I will go to court. I will pull all of the periodicals and uh, the mentions of the activity and say point blank. Try to sue me. Come come get me, Harry Reid. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take you to court. How about that one? All right. Uh, this has been Power News. Thank you for watching. Share this video. Everybody needs to see it. Thank you for watching.